Welcome back to the Guillotine Channel, your place for fresh squeezed guillotine related content. Today, Jake can't be here. He's very busy with lots of stuff, so we are joined by Ren, a familiar face to the channel. You might know Ren as the guy who eats everything. Everyone immediately, <laughs> that's gonna help us a lot. Ow, that's my finger! I'm excited to do some chopping today. It's just gonna be the two of us today with Mongo over here. Uh, yep. Same as always, what we've always done. And yeah. Oh. <laughs> this thing's too hot, man. Okay, I, I realize you've been getting hot. It's probably time that you can finally take the, the hood off. Christ, that's hot. Can I actually be in the video for once, guys? He always wears the hood, but I guess that's not working, so. Just this one time, let me not be in the hood. Well, I guess we can shoot some slow-mo. So we've got Gavin from the slow-mo guys here today. He has brought his phantom camera. He uh, is gonna help us shoot some super slow-mo stuff. You got and a ton of lights? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out phantom cameras are very light hungry. Someone asked me earlier, like, what kind of lights, and I just said all of them. <laughs> so today we're going to be having a guillotine party, and we're going to be chopping things that you might find at a birthday party, a get-together with friends. We're going to chop it all. Here's the thing. We've had this execution device here, and we've only been chopping things like computers and fruit. What if we actually executed someone? <sighs> Elsa, sad to see her go, but time we send her off. First thing we need to do, though, is fill her up with candy, like you do a pinata. So when we chop, we get our candy from our pinata. Poor Elsa. Look, I have nothing against Frozen, but there were some weird, weird Elsa videos on YouTube circulating a couple of years ago, and this kind of feels like a shutting them down. I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward as far as guillotine cuts go. I actually am prepared. All right, guys, we have a perfect guillotine basket here. I think it'll be a fairly clean cut just below the chin, and all the candy in the chest area is just gonna pour out like guts. I predict it'll be pretty clean through the first half of the neck, and then it'll get a bit sort of rippy. Oh, okay. And less clean at the back end of the, you know, through the spinal area. All right, raising her up. I'm terrified of this thing. <laughs> Rightfully so. Elsa, you are sentenced to die. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. Blade is coming off, and blade is hot. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> so is that the brain stem that really got baked in there? Oh my gosh. Just for the sake of it. It's like, it's like, oh! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> That's a pretty good chop. I mean... I was impressed with just the, the shake of the whole room when it landed. Yeah, you feel it through yeah. the floor. So what's happening? Elsa's Come about down. to meet her death. <gasps> <laughs> Seeing the flower was cool. Oh, that couple <laughs> leaked out there. <laughs> the head is just literally crunched there. It just kind of collapsed. It didn't cut as well as we thought it might. That didn't go as I expected at all. There you go. I mean, some of it's already open. I just want some powder. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nah. Right, stop eating those pops. <laughs> now we know what happened. <laughs> But you don't like flour on your candy? <laughs> Thanks, Elsa. Hmm? All right, we're gonna chop a disco ball next. Let's do it. So this is hollow. All okay. we know is that it has probably a plastic body and then the mirrors are like glued on top. Oh, I got one. Oh yeah, they're glued down pretty hard. We're gonna drop until we chop with this disco ball. Well, what I hope happens is that a bunch of tiny mirrors fly off. What I think will happen is we'll just get two halves of a disco ball. But I like being wrong for the good of the footage. What I'm really hoping doesn't happen is that we get a derailing. You have to hit right on the top of the arch. And if you don't, it's gonna deflect that blade. Bad things can happen, so. I think it's gonna fracture. It's gonna break in half like an egg. There's a potential here that we're gonna get all these shards of glass flying off in crazy high speeds. Matt, you have a riot shield. You have a riot shield. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. We'll be Ren, fine. Just open your mouth, maybe you'll get some snacks, okay? I'm just gonna steal your cloak for one shot. I'll give it back, I promise. Let's make sure you return it. Dry clean it and return it. Dude, this disco ball is guilty of really inspiring the whole disco culture. There's no place for disco balls today. We've moved past that. We're in the future. They gotta go. I'm wearing this just as a safety precaution for this one chop. <laughs> Mongo, is that you? I'm not Mongo, I'm Nick. Shut up, Mongo. We're raising up. Chop, chop, bitch. <laughs> Going hot. It is armed. 
three, two, one, Eiji! Oh! Yes! Yes! That was so satisfying. Yeah, it cracked open like an egg. Whoa, look at this though, it popped the bottom out of it. Oh! oh what is did this get bent in half? It's the it spinal did. Cord. Yeah, it just <laughs> it just 45 degree to a 180. Oh man, that is some steel. Did that did it dent the blade? It looks <laughs> fine. Why do you keep touching it like that? Why, you, why are you gonna do that? I'm not gonna say anything until we watch the slow-mo footage. This might be the most satisfying chop we've ever done. Playback. I like the reflections on the blade. <gasps> oh, there's like dust. Oh! Turns out disco balls are fairly flexible. It's crazy to see all the little uh, mirrors themselves light up individually. God, it packs such a punch. There we go. We were right about the safety because look at all these little sharp mirrors that got strewn about. Should we chop the rest of these just to see? I mean, oh, probably. You can tell this guy's done this before. All right, let's get this back up in the air and let's chop the other half. Let's not even put the safety back on. Let's just do this quickly and without any regard for safety. Isn't that what we always do? Come on. I don't think the blade's gonna make it all the way through this triple stack. I mean, think about it last time. It broke it in half on top of bending a rod like this. We'll see what happens. Drop until it chop. It never gets old, man. It never gets old. Has it actually cut any mirrors in half, or does it just That's push question. them? It seems to be like a perfect line of mirrors. Yeah. Cut in, perfect line of mirrors. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it in the mirror. Like, oh, you're right. You can see the approach. It slowed it down a bit before it actually cut through. Yep. It was because like all the, <clears throat> the foam is so soft, the, the blade like pushes it all first before it hits mm -hmm. the resistance it needs to then That's go true. through. So it's like a little yeah. squish phase and then a cut phase. What was it? The the munch? That the you munch and describe? crunch? The, the crunch, crunch and munch. the munch. <laughs> <laughs> in slow-mo, you can separate the crunch from the munch. Exactly. So that's good. <laughs> This yep. party's making me thirsty. I'm parched. I'm getting pretty sweaty myself. Time for some refreshments. We should see, oh God, do you think we need more dye? Uh, <laughs> you only needed like a drop and you put like half the bottle in it. Sir? That is concentrated. To the guillotine? To the guillotine. Yep. Mio, so good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Ren actually drinks it. <laughs> ah! Ah. We're not gonna drink these refreshing beverages, no. We're gonna chop a whole stack of them. If this blade catches the end of one of these boards right here, it's gonna fling all the glass, all the broken shards, all the liquid, all around the studio. Great. I wonder if the stress on the top glass will cause the stems of the glasses mm. underneath to break. Yeah, physics don't make sense with this thing sometimes. I think Gavin's right. I think it's like, they're all just gonna shatter like that. We're gonna be picking up glass for weeks. I say we do this. The camera's booted up. The guillotine is armed. Everyone, be careful. Let's do this. All right. Dude, I'm, it's protection, man. All right, here goes nothing, boys. Final voice, and chops in three, two, one, chop it! It's a rainbow. <laughs> Look at this. A guillotine rainbow. <laughs> it's all a rainbow all the way. Wait, let's let, let's see this. You ready for this? Ready for this? Ready. Oh I'm my ready. gosh. <gasps> oh. There's so Ooh. many stages oh. to that. And the backlight and the colors. That's the beauty of slow-mo is that it doesn't all mix together immediately and you can actually see that amazing color separation. A company is gonna see this and advertise their 8K <laughs> TVs with this. Yeah. You know? The oh my stems gosh. like explode from the Dude. crushing force. Magical. Yeah? This is beautiful. That's the most satisfying chop we've ever done. I take back the disco ball thing. Dude, the disco ball was nothing compared to that. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna try to get a more close up macro angle so we can really th show you guys all that crunch. That's too much dye, they said. <laughs> Stop putting dye in there, they said. <laughs> I'll show them. Going hot. Oh, I just had to lift my whole body weight up. I almost pinched my finger. I just kind of want to maximize all of the, the meat of the crunch. 
Do it. So excited. Glass proof. No glass can get that. Take your positions. Let's do this. Elsa's your skill. How you going hot? I got rolled. Chopping in three, two, one. The blade went in front of all of the glasses. We didn't get the shot. <laughs> Interesting. Just shaved the just front shaved Yeah. Yeah, all the good stuff was in the back. So we actually have to go break the news to Jake that we have messed up the wall in the studio. It's fine. Get that counter in there after the shield. Hey, buddy. What's going on, everybody? We're what just, happened? Just oh, nothing happened. Stuff. Did you, you know, derail the blade? We painted the wall. Just a little bit of splash here and there. Oh, you know we like to keep those walls white. Damn, what'd you get? Why? You can, yeah, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. Were you chopping glass? Yeah. yeah. Well, there goes the revenue from the guillotine channel. Once again. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna cut some Lacroix cans here, and we're just gonna stack them up. It's Lacroix. Lacroix. Okay, so we're gonna take a bunch of Lacroix cans. Dude, whoa! What? One of them popped. Oh, this one got pierced. Like glass. Whoa! Got pierced. Well, don't waste it, man. Right? Yeah, drink it, man. Don't drink the glass, though. It could be still in there. Oh. These Lacroix are extremely guilty of having a very contentious name. Uh, no one knows how it's pronounced. How do you say it? Lacroix. I've seen men killed over it. The bloodshed must stop. Let's stack up some cans. Wow. Weird stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. My shaking techniques are very proprietary. Dude, you're a mixologist. <laughs> Dude, shaking it like this doesn't do as much as shaking it sideways. Uh. Twisting gets more of like those weird pressure waves internally. I really don't think it's the blade's gonna make it through this whole thing. Oh, it it's will. Gonna... Well, I'm wondering if it's gonna act like spray paint. We've done some stuff where we hit cans of spray paint yeah. lengthways with an ax, and the, uh, each half just kind of pops off. All right, the final one, guys. Oh man, that's a lot of LaCroix. Making me so thirsty. Cool. These two will be safe. All right. See, the thing about cylinders like this is that they're very strong vertically, but on their side, they have almost no structural support other than the pressure internally pushing outwards. But once that's punctured, they have no structural support, so I think they're all gonna get crushed. I am so confident any that are left over, I will drink the entirety of. Let's do this. <clears throat> and speed those cameras. Guillotine's hot. In three, two, one, chop it. Was that every single one? No one was safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these little cups. It's such a clean cut. <laughs> Man, I was thirsty. I bought a clean cut. You can see where the blade like entered. And then the bottom is more of a tear. We have to actually review the slow-mo footage to see and make sure every single one got cut. All right, dropping. Oh, oh they all pop open. <laughs> that is it oh looked like God. it caught all of them. Dude, look at all How that even splash of foam. How did that just happen? How did that get out? In one piece. Oh, I think it pushed it through. The it just dispensed it out of the bottom. Yeah. Dude, keep your eyes on the, on these three here. Okay. I think they just fell in. The bottom row. <gasps> oh, they did! <laughs> All right, Ren, you're not off the hook, man. You're not off the hook. Here's the other. You have to drink this. Oh. It is! Because I placed this one. I remember seeing this one. Now we gotta drink these. Drink them is now, that please. The other one? I was right. I predicted it. I think I predicted two and three survived, but the exact two I predicted were the ones that went through. It's like you've done this before, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I can see time before it happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the quietest burp I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm like in pain now. Wow. Uh, what a guillotine party. That was a lot of fun. That was the most fun party ever. Gavin, thank you for joining us. Hey, if ever you need a slow-mo guy. We'll just have you take the hood off again. I'll just be right yeah. here under the hood. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are already very aware, but please subscribe to the Slow-Mo Guys channel. Oh, yeah. Awesome channel on YouTube. <laughs> it's up and coming. I think you got a future ahead of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, 
that was a long day of chopping. I hope you guys enjoyed. Guess what? We actually opened up a P.O. Box where you can send us items to chop. It's P.O. Box 861-537 in Los Angeles, California, 90086 postal code. If you have something you want to get chopped, shoot it over. We're going to chop it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys send over. Just make sure it's not like super, super big. Please don't send us any live animals. Please don't send us anything illegal. That should cover all the bases, I think. And if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see when we actually do chop the fan mail. That's all for now, guys. We're gonna go uh, get this blade cleaned up before it rusts. 